Hey, hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. So today we're going to do one of our What the Heck Is series, and we're going to talk about this device here on the screen called a Shaper Origin. And this is intended for beginning woodworkers. It's not a full demonstration. There's plenty of those online. It's simply to tell you what the thing is, kind of verbally, uh, and give you a little bit of an understanding. So let's get to it. And if you can give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, that is always very, very welcome. So here is the Shaper Origin. Uh, we have a router right here. It's inserted in the machine. So it's a CNC, Computer Controlled Numerical Device, which in the case when we talk about CNC in the work workshop is talking about controlling routers. And so you have a little router here with a quarter inch uh, shaft or collet on it. And that's inserted. And then what makes it a CNC is this computer. So this is a built-in computer. So the router and the computer work together. Now, unlike a regular CNC where you buy a table of a certain size and then you take your work to the table, this one's different in that you can take your CNC, the shape or origin, to your workpiece whether that workpiece be a landing on some stairs, whether it be a gigantic uh, dining room table you're working on, whether that be some flooring somewhere, whether that be a sign that you're working on, things that would not fit onto a regular CNC. So you take this device to that. The advantage is that it's unlimited in size. You can put down these patterns on anything and then get your design into the computer and then the computer will show you how to follow and do the design. Whether it's an engraving like this, uh, or whether it's uh, cutting a circle or some sort of pattern. So it has a number of things built into the computer without doing anything, such as text, circles, squares, rectangles. Uh, there's a lot of joinery built in for box joints and dovetails, so there's built-in functions. In addition, you can go to a program such as Adobe Illustrator and you can create a design that you want this to handle. And then if, you, if this is connected to the internet because you have internet in your workshop, then you can download the file right off of the internet into the device. If not, then you put it on a little thumb drive uh, on your computer and then bring it here and then plug it in to the side of the machine. So anyway, you can work with what's natively built in already or you can download very, very fancy graphics and joinery and so forth. I'll put a link down below for some of uh, the videos that show the different applications. Uh, the dis A big disadvantage here is cost. This is like $2,499 and then if you want the, a workstation that comes with it, that's a separate video, then that's extra. So anyway, you're looking at $2,500 to $3,000 plus maybe some shipping and sales tax. But if you get a great big CNC, you're looking at a lot of money as well. In fact, it's probably a lot more than that. And the other advantage is maybe you have a really small workshop like I have and so having a CNC in here is impossible because I've long since run out of any desk space, floor space, cabinet space, or anything else. So there's no way I can see fitting a CNC into my workshop unless I get rid of something. So you can put a lot of different uh, bits into it. You can put uh, upcut bits, you know, eighth inch, sixteenth inch. You can put in an engraving bit. Uh, it's a little uh, different. Well, that's not it. That's a smaller uh, straight bit. So you have engraving bits and and dovetail bits. Here's a dovetail bit. I haven't even taken the protecting off of it yet. Now, if you want to do something like this little small thing where I wanted to inscribe my uh, my logo, 
and you you can bring it to a station like this and what you would do is you put a sheet of plywood underneath and that's to protect your workbench <coughs> excuse the cough then you put these plywoods on top and they're flexible there's three pieces one two three and then these can go back and forth to hold your workpiece right in the middle of it and so this is good for something you know 15 20 inches wide and that will fit so this is like going to a cnc so you don't have to use new tape a lot of times you go to a work surface or something and you put down a lot of this tape so that this computer camera in the back of this device can scan that tape and then have a virtual workspace inside of the computer well that's kind of it it's a uh, very, very uh, powerful device. It's certainly got a learning curve. It certainly has an expense. But if you don't have room for a traditional CNC and you're getting ready to go down that path, then this might be an alternative for you to evaluate. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me a subscribe. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying to do these kind of... Uh, in this manner, using Ecamm Live, hopefully it'd be easier and cut down on the editing. And let's get out of here. Hope you find these useful. This is my workshop in my one-car garage. That was my view of the back of the house. A little drone footage. Working on my drone licensing. Uh, and that here is my workshop. I won't be using the drone for anything else until I get my license. So give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe, and we'll see you down the road. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.